Magandang gabi po mga kaibigan. Tayo po ay narito sa ating serye Creation Series sa ating Health Evangelism Program. Ito po ay pag-aaralan po natin ang tungkol sa maganda at mapagbigay buhay na lifestyle sa ating mundo. I would like to invite you to open with me with this presentation and let us look at the perfect creation that God had made. And looking also on the future, the recreated world, pagkatapos po ay titignan po natin ang pangyayari in between sa unang creation at sa pangalawa o yung katapusan, yung recreation, pagbalik ng ating Panginoon. So, sa ating series, in our series, we're going to talk about creation. Creation stands for choice, letter C, stands for rest, letter R, and also letter E for environment, letter A for activity, and letter T for trust, letter I for interpersonal relationship, letter O is outlook, and Letter N is all about nutrition. Ngayong gabi, let us talk about our choices. But before that, gusto ko pong makita natin kung ano ang nangyari in between sa luma at sa bagong lupa na gagawin o ginawa at gagawin ng ating Panginoon. First, I would like to bring you to the text in John chapter 10, Verse 10, na ganito po ang sinasabi, The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. Alalahanin po natin, mga kapatid ba na minamahal na kaibigan, na dito sa ating mundo ay mayroong magnanakaw na wala po siyang ibang intensyon maliban sa pagnakaw, pagpatay, at pagsira. But there is also on the other side, One who can give us life and no other than our Jesus Christ. I have come, he said, ako po ay paparito, ako po ay naparito, that they might have life and not an ordinary life, but it is an abundant life. And all these things started with our choice. And this is letter C. Kung gusto po natin makita, I would like to give you a simple illustration in the life of Ronald Reagan. Noong si Ronald Reagan ay bata pa, nakita sa kanyang tita na yung kanyang sapatos ay medyo luma na. Kaya nga, sinabihan si Ronald, sabi niya, Ronald, pagagawan kita ng bagong sapatos. Kaya nga siya'y dinala doon sa sapatero at minasure yung kanyang paa. Dahil, made to order ang kanyang sapatos. Ang sapatero ay nagtanong kay Ronald at ang kanyang wika ay ganito. Anong klasing sapatos ang gusto mo? Do you want a square two or a round two? Ang sabi po ni Ronald ay pwede po ako ninyo bigyan ng dalawang araw pag-isipan ko po kung ano ang gusto kong sapatos. Sabi po ng sapatero, okay, Binigyan siya ng dalawang araw and after two days, tinanong ulit siya, Do you have the decision? Meron ka na bang decision? Sabi ni Ronald Reagan, hanggang ngayon po, wala pa po akong decision. Sabi po ng sapatero, okay. Balikan mo bukas, two days from now. At kukunin mo na yung iyong sapatos. So nagtataka si Ronald. Pagbalik niya two days after, meron na yung sapatos na pinagawa ng kanyang tita. The problem is, hindi, is, hindi lang iisang paris, bagkos dalawang paris po ang ginawa ng sapatero. And on that point, Ronald Reagan learned a lesson. I learned right then and there, eh, sabi pa ni Ronald Reagan, that if you do, don't make your own decision, someone will make decision for you. Kaya nga mga kaibigan, minamahal na mga kaibigan, pag-aaralan po natin 
ngayong gabi kung ano po ang halaga ng pagawa ng ating desisyon. Dahil po doon po sa Garden of Eden, the ability to choose was hardwired into our brain. Inilagay na po ng ating mapagmahal na Diyos na siyang naglalang at gumawa sa atin. Kakaiba po ang paggawa ng Diyos sa tao. Hindi po katulad sa mga hayop na kaniyang ginawa, na kaniyang linalang. Dahil kung titignan po natin, ang frontal lobe ng aso ay only 7%. Doon po sa unggoy is only 17%. At doon po sa pusa ay only 3.5%. Makita po ninyo kung gaano kalaki ang kanilang mga frontal lobe. Pero ang tao po, nung ginawa ng Diyos, when God created you and me, it is not the same with these animals. He gave us a frontal lobe that is 33 to 38 percent. Bakit po? It is because ang Diyos ay nagbigay sa atin ng espesyal na utak. Binigyan po tayo ng espesyal na command center sa ating katawan na narito po sa ating frontal lobe ng ating brain dahil nariyan yung tinatawag nating conscience it's there our reason and our judgment it is the ability that God has given to you and given to me to make the right choice and to make the right decision upang tayo po ay makagawa ng tamang pagpili, tamang desisyon. Because choice is a gift from our Creator. It is a God-given gift at creation. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na freedom to choose. Meron po tayong freedom na pumili. Meron po tayong freedom na gagawa ng ating sariling desisyon. Kaya nga doon sa harden ng Eden, In the Garden of Eden, the choice was made. Kung titignan po natin, ito po ang sabi ng Panginoon. The Lord said, commanded the men saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat, for in that day you will eat, sigurado kayong mamamatay. You will surely die. Because this tree represents All that was good, positive, healthy, and life-giving. And also, this tree of knowledge of good and evil is not only represent the positive things, it also represents the sum of our poor choices. The negative, the unhealthy, the life-destroying practices. Kaya nga, mga kapatid, minamahal na mga kaibigan, ganito po ang sabi, God intent is not simply to add years into your life and to my life, but to add life into your and into my years. But remember, alalahanin po natin mga kaibigan, na ang ating pagpili, our choices have their eternal consequences. So the woman, noong panahon na ang babae ay kaniyang nakita, when he saw the tree, that it was good for food, it was pleasant to the eyes, the tree is desirable to make one wise. Ang kanya pong ginawa, he took of its fruit and ate. And not only that, hindi lang po yun. Dahil mahal na mahal po niya ang kaniyang asawa, ba, kaya't kaniyang pinagbigyan o kaniyang binigyan ang kaniyang asawa. And he gave her and he ate. Binigyan po niya, he gave, she gave her husband and the husband ate the fruit. And that's the start of the poor choice that Adam and Eve. Nga ito po ay nagresulta sa kanilang buhay, yung tinatawag po natin guilt. Second, blame. Third, disease. Fourth, pain, worry, and anxiety. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na eternal consequences ng kanilang pagkakasala. 
Kaya nga ngayon, maraming mga pamilya ay nagkakaroon ng problema. It is just because of a poor choice. It is just because of a wrong choice. There is an uncontrolled anger, uncontrolled lust, pagnanasa, uncontrolled desire, and I would like to tell you, if you make the right choice, this will lead to change and changes in our life. But friends, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, ang healthy life is not a matter of a chance, but rather it's a matter of choice. Hindi po ito chance, hindi po ito swerte. Hindi po natin pwedeng sasabihin na swerte ka dahil malusog ang pangangatawan mo. No. Magkakaroon po tayo na malusog na pangangatawan kung tayo po ay gagawa ng tamang pagpili. Ang sabi ng iba, paano po yung aming kalagayan, ang aming, ang aming pamilya ay ganito. We are not healthy. We have a poor genetical makeup. Ang sabi po ng isang professor, si Dr. Mordock, sa Loma Linda University School of Medicine, ganito po ang wika. Faulty genetics loads the gun. Lifestyle pulls the trigger. So hindi po natin pwedeng gawin. We cannot make as an excuse because of our genetical makeup. Dahil po ay ganito. Because your genetics is only 20 to 30 percent. And your lifestyle, my lifestyle choices, compose of 70 to 80 percent. So, ang sabi po ng National Geographic, pakinggan po ninyo, a long, healthy life is no accident. It begins with good genes, but it also depends on good habits. If you adopt the wrong lifestyle, expert says, chances you may live up to a decade longer. Magkakaroon po tayo ng mas mahabang buhay, mas mababa at malusog na buhay, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, at mga minamahal naming mga kaibigan. Kung ating pong titignan, it all started with a choice at the Garden of Eden. Because your choice, my choice, is the hinges of our destiny. Ang ating pong pagpili, ito po yung bisagra na magtuturo kung saan po ang ating destinasyon, saan po yung ating patutunguhan. So this evening, I would like to challenge you. The question is, will I go on doing things that I've always done and doing what I like doing? Or, we make the choice. I will change course of my life to help improve my health and also the health of my family and our life. So kung titignan po natin, ito po ay nagsimula doon sa napakagandang linalang ng ating Panginoon, doon sa harden ng Eden, the choice that Adam and Eve had made. Tignan po natin ang kanilang ginawa at ano pong nangyari. When they made the wrong choice, the consequence is, Ang sabi po ng Panginoon, if the, the day you eat this, you will surely die. But they listen to the serpent. Sila po ay nakinig doon sa magnanakaw. Na walang ibang layunin kung hindi magnakaw, pumatay, at to destroy. At hindi sila na nakinig doon sa naglalang kanila na walang iba ang ating Panginoon. Because sin produces, number one, it produces anxiety. It produces fear. It produces hatred. It produces also not only hatred, but even suffering, mga kapatid. Ito po ang maibibigay ng kasalanan. Ito po ang ating makukuha. It will bring us suffering, and finally, it will bring Death. Ito po yung sinasabi ng ating Panginoon that you will surely die. Marami na po ang namamatay as a result of sin. Because the Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, siguro magtatanong po tayo sa ating sarili, why suffering has come? 
Bakit po napakaraming suffering sa ating palibot? Kaliwat kanan, sa ating harapan, sa ating likuran, ay maraming mga tao nakikita po natin na nagsasuffer. It is because God, the author of love and blessing, and on the other hand, sa kabilang panig po, Satan is the author of hate and suffering. And all suffering, either directly or indirectly, is the result of sin. Kaya nga, yung ating sanlibutan na ating tinitarahan ngayon, ganito po ang sitwasyon. Napakaraming mga suffering, napakaraming mga naghihirap. It is because Satan is responsible of all of this. Kaya nga si Pedro ay nagsabi po ng ganito. Sa 1 Peter chapter 5, talatang 8, ganito po ang sinasabi. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And I would like to tell you, beloved friends, he was tempted, or he tempted Jesus, but he failed. Ang magnanakaw na siya ang responsable ng lahat nito. He tempted Jesus, but he failed. And also, he may tempt you and me. He may, may come to your life and tempt you. But Jesus is on our side. He is our helper. And the Bible says, Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. Sabi pa niya, I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Napakagandang paalaala ng ating Panginoon. Napakagandang promise ng ating Panginoon. Na gusto po niya na tayo magkakaroon ng victory over the enemy. Pero kinakailangan po natin ng pananampalataya. We need our faith. And we need to make The wrong choice. Don't make, a, don't make the wrong choice. Because making the wrong choice will lead us to suffering. Then what, what, that, what did God do? Nung tayo po ay nagkaroon ng hindi tamang pagpili, ano pong ginawa ng Panginoon? Ang sabi ba ng ating Panginoon, napabayaan mo na yan sila, matigas ang kanilang ulo? No. Ano pong kanyang ginawa? Ito pong kanyang ginawa. He made a promise of a Savior. Kung titignan po natin, Galatia kapitulo 1, versikulo 4, ganito po ang sinasabi. Jesus gave His life for our sin. Just as God our Father planned, hindi po aksidente, plinano po ng Panginoon na kung sakali ang tao ay gagawa ng hindi tamang pagpili, God had planned in order for us to be rescued from this evil world and He will give us Life. In order to rescue you and me from this evil world in which we live. Kaya nga, ganito po ang kanyang ginawa. Ginawa po niya ang napakalaking sakripisyo na makikita po sa Juan uh, Kapitulo 3, Talatang 16, na ganito po ang sinasabi, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever kahit sino po, hindi po namimili ang Panginoon para sa lahat. Whosoever believe in Him should not perish but have eternal life. Mga kaibigan, minamahal na mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, ito po ang napakalaking regalo ng Diyos. He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believe in Him will not perish. For God did not send His Son. Hindi po niya ipinadala yung kanyang nag-iisang anak into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through His Son might be saved. Iyan po ang dahilan kung bakit ibinigay ng Diyos ang kanyang anak upang ang sanlibutan ay magkaroon ng kaligtasan at magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. He gave His Son was born in a Virgin Mary, lumaki po siya doon sa carpenter's house, at siya po ay nangaral 
At pagkatapos siya po ay ipinako sa cross, namatay sa cross ng Kalbaryo upang bayaran ang inyong kasalanan at ang aking kasalanan upang tayo magkaroon ng kaligtasan. His blood paid your sin and my sin. This is a choice that God made because He loves you and He loves me. That's why, brethren, mga kaibigan, mga minamahal na mga kapatid, ito po ang nangyari. Dahil nagkaroon po tayo ng kasalanan, tayo po ay nahiwalay sa ating Panginoon na Siya nagbibigay ng buhay. And we are doomed to die. Because the penalty of sin is death. But Jesus made the solution. He paid our debt. Kanya pong binayaran yung ating utang. Kanya pong binayaran yung ating pagkakasala. Siya pong namatay doon sa cross ng Kalbaryo upang tayo ay magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. And it is Christ who paid that sin. Ang tao ay dapat mamatay. Dahil po kahit yung ating magandang mga gawain, our good works cannot save us. It is only Jesus who can save us. He gave us. He is the way. He is the truth. And He is the life. If we only follow Him, if we only make the choice to follow Him and accept Him, then we will have eternal life. The question is, Will you make the choice tonight? The choice is yours. Because your choice is the foundation of your destiny. Ang aking kung pagpili, ito po ang pundasyon ng aking destinasyon. Ito pong pundasyon ng aking patutunguhan. It depends on my choice. Ngunit ngayong gabi, mga kaibigan, minamahal na mga kaibigan at mga kapatid, gusto ko po kayong I-invite. Nagagawa ng tamang pagpili. Pagpili na ating pipiliin ang ating Diyos na siyang naglalang sa mundong ito. Siyang naglalang sa inyong mga buhay, sa inyong mga katawan, sa ating mga katawan. At siya po ang Diyos na pumili na magsakripisyo ng kanyang buhay upang kaikaw at ako ay magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. He made the plan. He made the way through the cross. And He made that bridge, the bridge to salvation. Because He want you and me to be saved. He want all the world to have eternal life and salvation. Pero hindi po magagawa ng Panginoon na tayo po'y pipilitin because He gave us the freedom to choose. It is a gift from God. Kaya nga po ngayong gabi, I would like to give you the chance to make the choice. Ang sabi po ng Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, I am now giving you the choice between life and death, between God's blessing and God's curse. Bibigay ko po sa inyo ang pagpipilian ninyo ngayong gabi, buhay o kamatayan, God's blessing or God's curse. And, ang sabi po niya, I will call heaven and earth. Tatawagan ko po ang langit at ang lupa upang maging saksi sa inyong pagpili na inyong gagawin ngayon. Dadapot ang Diyos nagbigay sa atin ng guidance. Ang sabi po niya, choose life. Piliin po ninyo ang buhay. Ngayong gabi, mga kaibigan, minamahal na mga kaibigan, I would like to leave you this chance. Ibibigay ko po sa inyo ang panahon na gagawa ng desisyon habang tayo'y magpapatuloy sa ating pag-aaral sa creation series. Kayo po ang mamimili. Make the choice. Nakita na po natin kung anong resulta yung ating ginawang pagpili ng ating mga magulang doon sa Harden ng Eden. Now let us make a choice. Your choice is the hinges of your destiny. Ang sabi po ng Panginoon, choose life. At ang sabi ko sa inyo ngayong gabi, piliin po natin ang buhay. Kung piliin po natin ang buhay, walang iba na ating pipiliin kung hindi ang atong Diyos. Si Kristo na namatay sa cross sa kalbaryo na nagsasabi, 
I am the truth and the life. I am the way. Ako po ang da daan. Wala na pong iba. Ako po ang buhay. Ako po yung magbibigay sa inyo ng buhay. And I would like to give you, sabi pa niya, life abundant. And I would like to encourage you to choose life. Tatapusin po natin ang ating pag-aaral sa pamamagitan ng isang maiksing panalangin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we would like to thank you for choosing to make a sacrifice for us in order for us to have life. And in our everyday life, help us to choose you because you are the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you for blessing all our friends who are listening and watching. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.